Greetings, my friends. Jimmer Linz here with your Source Filmmaker Tip of the Day. Today is Tip of the Day number 67. And uh, as always, thank you for tuning in, for subscribing to my YouTube channel, and for being generally awesome people. I really do appreciate it. Uh, in today's tip of the day, I am going to show you a little bit about how you can apply the character-based effects, the, char the class-based character effects to some of your characters. And uh, by way of demonstration, I've got uh, the Eyelander uh, particle system applied to my little he heavy here. Um, so I'm really mixing things up. I've got a red heavy with the blue particle system. Uh, but the point is to show how you can apply these things. So what did I do? And... You know, this is really, really simple stuff, but a lot of people don't even know where to look to find these things. So that's why I'm doing this, because this may help open a few doors for folks who just aren't aware of where to look for this stuff. Uh, again, we're going to take a little trip into the particle editor. So I'm going to go into Windows here and select uh, Particle Editor Tool. And uh, I've already opened this one, but uh, you can click File and Open. And the one that I'm working with right now is called class underscore fx.pcf and uh, to forestall the inevitable questions because a lot of people come to these tips of the day later and don't haven't seen the earlier ones uh, if you find yourself opening the particle editor tool and there's no particles because you find yourself with this uh, with no, you know, you've got a, an empty dialog box and there's no particle systems to open, and that's because you need to. It, it will default to user mod slash particles, and there are no particle systems in the current um, uh, uh, version of Source Filmmaker in this folder. You have to go up two folder levels to the uh, uh, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker game, and then go down into the TF folder, and then find the particles folder. And this is where you're going to find all of uh, the, uh, the the particle systems that come with Source Filmmaker. And these are all going to be associated with Team Fortress. Uh, I don't think it includes all of them, especially not the later ones associated with some Steam Workshop items and, and more up-to-date stuff because, again, keep in mind the version of Team Fortress that ships <coughs> excuse me, with uh, uh, Source Filmmaker is a different one than the one that is the current running version of Source Filmmaker. Anyway, all that said, go into Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Source Filmmaker Game, slash TF, slash Particles, and load up class underscore fx.pcf, and you will find that there are a bunch of class effects here. We've got I Power Up Blue, I Power Up Blue Level 2, 3, and 4, um, and again, the same ones for Red, uh, God Rays, I don't know what that's about. God rays, fog, laser sight. So if you want to uh, to put the little laser pointer thing or the laser dot, the red dot on somebody, that's the one you want to use. Uh, there's also the, um, let's see, the laser sight beam. I think this would be probably the, the after effect of the machina. I'm not totally sure. Uh, we've got the medic heal buff. So when he's doing his little thing and he's uh, putting out healing arrangement or healing aura because he's using whatever that uh, bone saw is, you can do that. There's all of these ring based effects. Um, ping circle. Oh, that's the one where if somebody's being tagged for some reason, you don't really see that too much in the main game. Uh, when the scout dodges. Anyway, you can go into the particle editor tool and you can browse your way through these and you can find all of these. And so what I did in order to just demonstrate this, all I really did was I spawned uh, a, I'm going to go back to Source Filmmaker here. Um, I sp I'm going to say create an animation set for new particle system. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and then I'm going to select class underscore fx.pcf. And uh, so let's say that I want to put a, uh, a red power up on his on this guy. I'm going to set the start time to zero, uh, the duration to 60, and the particle system lifetime to 60. And uh, as usual, you will note that even when you fire up, or even when you add a particle system, it doesn't show up right away. Even when I start playing, it doesn't start emitting, and that's because you have to drag the playhead out of the shot and then back in, and then it will start uh, playing. And uh, as we can see, it's back here, so we need to move it. And uh, what I did before was I just grabbed the heavies bip head. Unfortunately, there's no simple way to do this. Uh, there's no there's no lock or bone to, to lock these uh, these two on his eyes. If you wanted to put it in his hand or do something else, it's a lot easier. But so what I ended up doing was I just uh, grabbed the root transform and I dragged the bip head to the root transform, 
uh, and then I go to procedural and say default and note that the particle system itself doesn't move but as soon as I press play it has and that will lock it to the head and then I need to move it because it's actually inside his skull right now so I'm going to move it around using uh, the tools to get it in the right place and it, it's it this was this is just kind of something that you got to play with unfortunately uh, because you're going to run into just a lot of sort of little tricky depth stuff that's going to make it kind of kind of funky. And uh, but with a little bit of tinkering around, you can get it just right. And uh, so yeah, that well, that's looking okay. But let's say, and this is another thing that I did. Let's say that I decide, you know, I've got this particle system spawned. And I like it where it is, but this is the wrong one. It's too bright. It's blocking out half of his face. I'd rather make it one of the smaller ones. So do you have to go through and respawn a new particle system and lock it to his head and, and mess around with it again? No, actually you don't. If I go and I look at the particle system um, in the element viewer, I select show particle system element viewer, or show, anyway, I, I look at the particle system, not the animation set. Uh, then uh, I can find here the particle system type. And be careful again whenever you're working in the element viewer. If you set this, I haven't tried it, but if you set this to a particle system that does not exist, it will probably crash on you. So I would be, I would be very cautious about that. So if I set this to level one, notice that it changed immediately and it's much less intense now. Uh, and that is, that's not bad, although now that it's less intense, it's also not oriented properly, so I'm going to change its orientation a little bit. And uh, obviously the level 1 particle system uses some slightly different orientation, or maybe I just didn't position it right the first time. Again, this is all just trial and error, tinkering around, playing until you get it where you want. And of course the display doesn't update until you play. The visual doesn't update until you play. But uh, that's kind of cool looking actually. I <laughs> kind of like that. I might have to do something with that for Halloween. Uh, so there you go. That's how you can manipulate particle systems. Uh, and if I do this by the way, I can actually manipulate the heavy's head. And since I locked these particles to his head, they will move around with it. They don't move around when I'm working in the motion editor, but never fear. If I was to actually animate his head moving, and I'll just go ahead and do that. We can just demonstrate. So if I go from here to here and just say put it here, and then we'll animate his head looking down at us. Okay, he's going to look down, and the particles will follow. So no fear there. When you move them around in the motion editor, the particle systems won't change. Uh, for you until you start playing. But when they're actually playing, uh, they will move uh, and you can see them uh, move properly in the in the video. Uh, so again, that's how you can find and access some of the class-based effects. You will find them in class underscore fx dot pcf. Uh, and this is just a demonstration that I showed you of how to use the demo man's eyelander particle effects to uh, uh, to to uh, attach them to a character's head and then have them appear wherever you want, really. And uh, you can do this with any of the particle systems in the uh, class effects one. Uh, experiment with them, play around with them, put them in various places. So there you go. That's your tip of the day, number 67, class-based particle effects. I hope that was useful to you, and I uh, hope that uh, you are getting a lot out of these tips of the day. <clears throat> As always, thanks for tuning in, for subscribing to my YouTube channel, for being cool people, and for all the great feedback. I have been your host, Jim Berlins, and I will see you tomorrow for the next tip of the day. Until then, continue to be awesome and enjoy using Source Filmmaker.